Hey, how's it going guys? This is Cobb over at Eddie's Hideout. Today I wanted to give you a little tutorial on how to professionally plug a piece. So for today, we have our deal of the day. It's the Casa Glass Full Size Recycler. So I've got this and I've paired it with one of Casa's Eddie's Hideout bangers here. We have both of these products available as uh, well as everything else out here except for our scissors and our toothpicks. So, as I said, I wanted to give you a little tutorial. I have a lot of people ask me how to do this, and some people think it's a little bit more difficult than it really is or needs to be. So I figured we'd start out and uh, just dive in and show you guys how to get into this. We're gonna start with the Pelican 1200 today. And these all have perforated foam on the inside here, so it makes it really easy to kind of pluck and pull the specific areas that you need recessed for your piece. So like I said, we've got a Casa here today. This is our deal of the day. If you go look on our story today, you can go find a link to that. You can check it out on our website. Now, when I'm starting, I generally like to leave one area on each side, or one row on each side, available for extra protection. I don't think it's 100% necessary, but it's a nice you know, thing if you have the ability to leave that there. So, I'm gonna start out by plotting out the base here. So I see how many squares the base is going to take up, and I'm gonna take those out to start. It gives me a nice little area that I can come back to and uh, use this, like a valley to rest this in. And I know that all of these are going to have to come out, so it makes it pretty easy. So there's our base right there. Pluck nicely into it. Now from there, this part is uh, only required if you're really starting out, but it helps a lot. I have a lot of people who have used this technique. So from here, you're gonna basically plot out where your piece comes out to. So you're gonna use some toothpicks here. And this is just gonna give you a general plot of where you're going to need to plug out. So this is a good start here. I'm gonna do the outsides real quick, and then we can work our way up. I always like to start from the bottom and move my way up to the top. Makes it just a little bit easier to see what you're working with. Now the arm right here, everything underneath that arm is going to have to come out. So that's always something to look for when working with a recycler. So I have a nice start there. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out a few layers. So once again, I know that this whole bottom layer is gonna come out. You can see that by putting the piece in there for reference. And it's really easy if you just kind of work one layer at a time here and take out what's necessary. Again, I can see the whole other top layer above that is going to have to come out. So. You just take your toothpicks along the way. You don't have to jam your toothpicks too deep down in there, just enough so you've got a marker for where you wanna go. Now, any of these middle sections here tend to come out. Um, they won't have anything to be tethered to at that point. So, it makes life a little bit easier. Like I said, you wanna make sure you take out less than you need rather than more. You can always take a little bit out later. Adding foam back in can be a little tough. So, using my toothpick plot here, I can easily see. We're gonna need to pull out this whole row. And we're gonna need to go up a whole other layer here. So at this point you can start clearing out pretty decent amounts of foam that you're not going to be needing. We're gonna clear the joint here. Joint here. Boom. Perfect. All right, we've got one more layer that's gonna to have to go here for the top of the funnel. And then we'll start getting into the mouth of these guys. So, over here. We're gonna start doing two squares at a time and pluck up into the mouthpiece area. As we start to hit this slant here, we'll take out corners. To do that, we'll do three squares. One, two, and three. And there you have your corner. 
Now everything's nice and snug in here. Make sure everything closes. I like to take out the foam. Make sure you don't hear any of the glass touching the hard glass. It says you're well within your limits there. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and we'll move on to the banger. So let me get some of this foam off to the side. I'll show you guys how to pluck your quartz banger into here. Perfect, let me get these Q-tips out, or these toothpicks out of the way. Now for your banger, it's a little bit different. We're going to actually recess a layer for your button to sit into. So we'll start up here. We're going to take out one whole square. Find your new favorite tracks and retire that next button only on SoundCloud. You'll notice your banger will drop right in there. I like to find a few squares that it's going to sit really nicely into and go ahead and recess those using a pair of scissors. So let me show you. We're just going to cut at an angle here, cut out the tops of these squares. There are four of them here. That should be enough for a 25 millimeter dish. And boom, just like that, we now have a recessed area for our banger to sit into. And just like that, we have our professionally plucked pelican. Make sure if you guys want to grab any of these products, you text, call, or DM us. We'd be happy to help you out. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed another episode of Hetty's TV on Instagram. Have a great day.